We're going to run through how to design a proportional integral derivative controller for this system right here where we can manipulate the temperature of the cooling jacket. Okay, so right here you can manipulate the temperature that's cooling off this reactor and you're trying to maintain a certain temperature inside the reactor. Now the problem with this reactor is you have an exothermic reaction of A going to B and then it's going to come out in this uh, product and so you want to tightly control the temperature so you can make the right concentration of material. So we're going to go through and just uh, go to the dynamic optimization course website. Now this is in comparing it to the uh, model predictive controller. We're going to do that for our next exercise. So if you come down to control, we're going to select nonlinear control and it introduces this problem right here and we want to be able to compare proportional integral derivative controller to linear MPC and nonlinear MPC. And there's some solutions down here. If you just want to skip straight to the solutions, just come down here and you can download them right there. And there's also there are also solutions in Simulink as well for all three with associated videos that will load there as well. Okay, so we're going to do this one in Python though. And I've got some example code that you can start with. Here is the, um, the reactor. And you can see that, uh, I'll go ahead and copy this in and explain it just a little bit more. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, reactor. We did a doublet test. That means you go up down below the nominal value and then back to the nominal value. The nominal value is 300. So we went to 303 and down to 297 and then back up to 300. So that's called a doublet, a doublet test. And that's very common for just uh, perturbing the system, be able to get a model from it. So we're going to try to control temperature. So here's our temperature response right here. And we want to try to fit uh, a model to that. Okay, so that's going to be our first step. We want to fit a model, a dynamic model, to help us get PID tuning parameters. So a common way of doing that is doing a what's called a first order uh, plus dead time model. And that looks like this. Okay, now if you're a little bit lost at what I'm saying here, there's a whole course on this. And uh, I'll just point you to that. If you want to be able to fit a model like this, then just come to the other course website. Okay, and that's the PDC website, Process Dynamics and Control. And you'll see a very similar uh, tank reactor problem right here. Okay, with similar exercise. So if you need help with PID controller, you want more detail, then just come to that one. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fit an FOPDT model. We'll develop, uh, get initial PID tuning parameters. Okay, and that's going to be our gain, our controller gain, our integral time constant, and our derivative time constant. Now the PID controller that we'll implement is, uh, once we get those PID tuning parameters, we have our cooling temperature, is going to be a cooling temperature nominal. Okay, in that case it was 300 Kelvin. Right there, plus the controller gain times the set point minus the measured temperature. Okay, so this is called the error right there. And then we're going to go on to Kc over tau i. Some people just call this an i term this a p term, and then you'll also see a d term as well. We're going to integrate from zero to the current time. This same error, so set point minus temperature in the reactor, d time, and this is going to be what's called the integral term. And then the final thing that we're going to do is do kc tau d d temperature d time. We're going to do the derivative on measurement, not the derivative on air. And this is sometimes a d term right here. So you have a p, an i, and a d term that you can tune. You can move those up and down. 
and they control how much weighting is given to the proportional, the integral, and the derivative. So let's go and just um, get some of this code. Okay, here is our nonlinear control example. For this one, I'm just going to grab the PID uh, solution right here. We're just going to walk through some of these steps, just like we described. Okay, there it is. Go ahead and extract it, unzip it. Okay, I'm going to use Python 2.7, but you can also use 3.5 with these examples. I think it should work. Okay, the very first thing that we're going to do is just do the doublet test. Just like you saw part one, um, we're going to first of all just generate some data. We're going to move that cooling temperature up and down and then see the response in the temperature. It's going to automatically write a data file for us. Okay, there's the very first one. All right, let's do the next one now. Now we're going to take that data. Ooh, let's open this data doublet and just see what this looks like. There's our data right there. The very first column, this column right here, that's the time. Okay, this column right here, that's the cooling jacket temperature. And this is the reactor temperature. So we have our time, our input, and our output from our system. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and load this in. To uh, In this next script, we're going to load it and then optimize. We're going to use SciPy optimize. Try to fit. Okay, there's our initial sum of squared error objective. And it's going to run for a little bit. And then what it'll do is it'll create a, uh, a fit to this uh, data that we had. And that'll give us some PID tuning parameters. Okay, so this one takes just a little bit of time. It's doing a lot of different guesses. And there it is right there. There is our optimized, which is the red line. Okay, let me just uh, hover over this. You've got uh, the data right here, the black line, and then red is the is the optimized, the best fit. Okay, so it undershoots it here, it overshoots it down here. You can see that it is a nonlinear system. The blue line is just our initial guess. Okay, and then there is our uh, inlet or input doublet test. So just take a note of those KP tau. P and theta P, because we'll need those for the next step. Those are going to be out from our first order model. Okay, so let me come back here. So this was, um, we fit our tau, our k, and our theta values from our first order plus set time model, and that will give us these, uh, there's correlations. We're going to use the IMC tuning correlations for the KC tau i and tau d. You can also use the ITAE or others that are available. I'm just going to use some very simplified ones. Uh, simplified I, IMC. Okay, here's our proportional integral design. I'm going to run this. Okay, and that's going to give me my KC. I'm just going to use a PI controller only. KC and a tau I. There it is. Okay, now we're going to go with the default ones. The ones that we just obtained from fitting that data. And this is going to implement a PID controller with the IMC tuning. And there we go. We have some set point changes. We started off at 300. We went up to 320 and then back down to 280. You can see it doesn't ever quite reach the set point down here because this reaches a lower bound of 250. It can't go any lower. So the reactor actually can't go any lower than about 283 or so. Yeah, that's the lowest that it can go because you can't get the jacket temperature lower than that. Okay, so here's that was pretty good, but let's say we want to improve the tuning. We say, well, I need to. Uh, okay, I'm going to modify it a little bit. Okay, so I just modified those tuning parameters a bit, just based on the response I saw. Maybe make it just a little bit more aggressive. Let's run it again and just see what we get for the tuning. With the tuning, okay, so this is kind of in the way, but uh, it comes up to about 10% overshoot and then goes back down. Let me go ahead and move those out of the way just so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to come down to the plots. And let's see, let's move. Where was it? Um, uh, there it is. Okay, location. 
Let's just put that in the upper right instead. Instead of best, we had it try to figure it out itself, but um, I don't think it did a very good job. Put it right in the middle, right where we wanted it. Uh, did not want it, okay? So now if we expand it, it's gonna move it over to the right. You can see that um, you know when it makes a step up, uh, about 10% overshoot, and then it levels out. Okay, so this is the PID controller. You can see the proportional, integral, and derivative terms there just plotted down here. And those three added up give us the controller output. Okay, so that's it for the, um, this is the PID controller of a CSTR reactor in Python. Again, the solution is right here if you wanna just jump to that and grab it. The next problem that we're gonna be going over is this uh, linear MPC. We're gonna develop a linear MPC controller for this same CSTR. And then as a final step, we're gonna do a nonlinear model predictive controller as well. And uh, there you're gonna have the solution video there as well if you wanna follow along. Okay, and here they are again in Simulink. If you wanna do those same things in Simulink, you can do that.